I'm Rob Greenhouge, we're here in Perth at the Moth Worlds. Uh, Tom Burton is up against Carl Langford um, for second place. It's an interesting battle. Just the second and third place still to be decided. Uh, well, I'm in fourth at the moment. Can't catch the top three, but can't lose fifth. So I'm in a, in a pretty good spot. I've been consistently in that position. Uh, Today was not, not a bad day. It was about eight to 12 knots. Um, I, I had a good race and a bad race. A uh, good race. Uh, had a really good start. I probably pushed it a bit too much. I was a bit concerned I was OCS, but I was all clear and uh, got out in front and uh, then just had to manage Tom Burton behind me. Just come third of the Moth Worlds. Um, pretty, you know, pretty exciting racing, pretty good fun. It was, to be honest, this week was pretty scary you know, on the start. The start lines are short, 250 metres with 60 boats. So, you know, everyone, you know, a metre apart, foiling, doing 20 knots is, is pretty scary with uh, you know, the, how easy it is to wash out the foils and stuff like that. It's been a bit of a premium. I think Slingsby has you know, executed his starts very well. I kind of had some nice starts in the end um, for most of the week and generally my uh, motto was kind of up the line to be able to start my own groove a little bit more. You know, when the boats are suddenly doing 20, 25 knots in a bear away pre-start, the line's actually only 20 seconds to sail down it. You know, everyone's looking for a little edge if it's 10% or 1%. So um, everyone wants an edge and being a laser sailor, I, um, I want at least what everyone else has um, is a good start. For me, I'm, I've got more than enough boat speed to, to do well here. And uh, it's just a matter, uh, matter of me managing uh, myself and not capsizing or breaking the boat. If you don't push in these boats, you're, you're not gonna do well. You're more likely to probably break the boat if you're not pushing hard, so. You know, upwind, to downwind, we obviously need a very large shape change in the sail. You know, upwind, when we're getting ripping, we're looking for a very flat head, keeping some drive down low in the sail, but a very flat head and depowering the sail from the top down. And then obviously as we go downwind, we want to power up the head of the sail. So kicker and cunning and balance are very critical. Balance the twist of the main with the depth to uh, achieve what you want. It's, it's pretty sensitive, so you've just got to get dialed in with your rig and your sail. We're all sort of learning each other's how everyone sails and it's where one of those days where if you fell off the foils you got penalised pretty hard. The conditions here have been amazing. Uh, we've had good breeze every day. Uh, some light tricky stuff from the east and some great sea breezes from the southwest. And it's been uh, some really fun racing for the big fleet. And warm, sometimes too warm. Uh, it's unbelievable sailing here for moths, flat water, Fremantle Doctor, uh, yeah, 20 knots right now and it's just perfect racing for moths. I had four good starts and uh, four good races and yeah, managed to win the title with a day to spare.